guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, you guys, we are finally going to do my nails. I know a lot of you do want to see how I actually get my nails done right at home. So if you want to see how I do it, please keep watching. Okay, first up again, we are filming in my office room. Um, so again, the lighting in and out, the extension plug just came in. I have yet to go and collect it. It's downstairs. So I think from the next video onwards, we will be back in the studio room and everything will be fine. Okay, so I'm just running through what I actually do. I know maybe you're waiting to see if I'm going to do extensions today. No. This is basically going to be a trial video. So I'm going to keep my nails short today because sometimes when you film a nail video, your angle in your camera has got to be like really, really clear and and you know the angling of the camera is like totally different than just propping you in front of me so today we will just do a test run I will, and I do want to keep my nails short for some time it's easier to work I have a lot of videos and things to film and edit over the next few days so sometimes it's easier to work with shorter nails today we're just going to do a simple basic white I'll show you what, uh, how I get it done very minimal things I will also link all of the things that I use down below if you're interested. Now I'll just quickly run through what you actually need and then we'll just jump right in. Also you guys, I actually ordered coffee beans today morning. This is their uh, caramel macchiato and you guys, this is the most Kala Starbucks, I tell you, Kala Starbucks. Although I love Starbucks, this, I don't know why I've never tried the caramel macchiato from coffee bean before. This is legit this is the good stuff this is also i have to note these are not like super high-end quality products especially the the gel polish and stuff they are relatively the okay okay kind but it works for me but they're definitely more top-notch top class uh quality products out there so you need a filer and a cuticle pusher cuticle trimmer these hand soaking things where you can just soak your hands inside that is not necessary but it's nice to have a dehydrator top coat and base coat mine is totally totally worn out this is the color that i'm using today in g001 last but not least the elm cuticle oil okay guys so i'm super excited to see how this video actually turns out i hope it's really good and yes let's just get started Okay guys, so this is my nails before, as you can see, not in the best shape anyway. Starting off by trimming the nails, I'm just using my cuticle cutter, I'm just trimming it. And then I'm going to take a file and just file down the edges. I want everything really smooth and not sharp. You know, sometimes when we cut our nails, it can be like slightly sharp and pokey. We do not want that. We don't want like jagged sides. So doing that, and then I'm going to pour water into that, that hand soaking thing. And yes, I spilled water on my table. Soaking my hands for about 10 minutes. The moment this is done, we're going to jump right into cuticle. Taking this cuticle stick is actually like a metal stick. I'm going to gently push back um, the cuticles. So cuticles is basically dead skin cells and you just want to clean everything up before um, going into painting. You've got to prep the nail really, really well, especially when you're doing gel. Um, because if you have excess cuticles on the hand, the gel will lift. So we do not want lifting. So prepping the nail is super, super important. Take your time and be gentle. You do not want to push it too back, uh, too to the back because it will hurt you. Um, taking the cuticle trimmer, I'm just going to trim as much as I can and just make sure everything looks neat and clean. This step is super important, you guys. I used to do this like very, like too shy last time, but I when I used to do that, like my, my gel used to lift a lot, so don't do that. Now taking the buff, the filer, sorry, I'm just going to remove the shine of the nail and make the nail bit slightly rough because with gel nails, if your nail bit is too soft, the gel will not stick. So do that, then wiping off all the filings that we've done, taking my dehydrator. So the dehydrator just ensures that the nail bit really does not have any oil, any moisture. Uh, you want it to be super, super, super dry. This is just an additional step I do just to ensure that there's no lifting. So this is one of the things that help with lifting your to get a dehydrator as well. Now going into the first um, layer, I'm applying the base coat. I'm doing this very thinly. And as you can see, I'm avoiding the skin. So please do not touch your skin. 
um first thing is it's <laughs> it won't look nice second thing is especially with oh i'm curing it for 45 seconds by the way um why we do not want to touch the skin is because with gel nails the moment it touches the skin it will lift very very fast even you see when i'm painting um I'm applying a very thin layer of the white actually and as you can see I'm leaving a small gap between the nail bed and the skin very very little gap because I do not want um, the paint to touch the skin and which will essentially cause lifting so that's what I'm gonna do and I want to show you in the next nail I accidentally uh, touched the skin because I went like two to the back and yep so we got to remove that taking the cuticle stick back I'm just going to use the pointed end and just scrape off um, whatever that's excess just removing it just making it making sure that it looks neat and this round I'm curing it for about 45 seconds once that's done I'm gonna apply a second coat usually with this white two coats is more than enough for me so I'm applying and sealing it up sealing the top off actually and then curing so this one i cure for about 60 seconds just to make sure everything is like super super dry and then we do our top coat my top coat bottle looks so bad but i've been using it for months guys so i'm applying a very thin layer don't do too thick it will look very bouncy yeah <laughs> okay so applying this and then curing for another 60 seconds just to make sure everything is cured and not sticky and the most yeah, yeah, important is your yeah, cuticle oil i'm using the m1 l1 applying and then massaging it in letting everything be hydrated and there you go you guys okay guys done both hands done and i absolutely like this i love this short white nails i think it looks really clean and neat and yes you guys i hope you really like this very quick and easy tutorial like how to do like gel nails at home i know gel nails to do it like outside in shops is super expensive so it's worth it to actually just give it a try and maybe you can you will you can like play around with colors with designs and all this stuff i like a standard white which is amazing so yes you guys if you're new and watching for the first time don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye